From the time women go through puberty, hormones rule our lives. We struggle with a lot of overwhelming feelings, both physically and emotionally, and those hormones never quit. Then when we hit our late 40s and 50s, menopause sets in, and that usually lasts for a few years. And during menopause, our estrogen levels decrease, which leads to a decline in muscle strength and muscle mass. But I have good news because there are some things we can do during menopause that help us maintain our muscle mass and that is actually gonna help reduce our menopausal symptoms too. So it's a win-win. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five key things you can do during menopause that will help you build muscle. So let's get started. Number one, avoid triggering foods. When you experience those awful menopausal symptoms, it can often really disrupt your life and it can make you feel powerless. And that can certainly affect your motivation for wanting to go work out and build muscle. And you might not realize it, but there are some foods that might trigger those certain menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, and mood changes. And it's those same triggering foods that also increase your blood sugar levels the highly processed carbs. We're talking about white sugars and bleached flours and they're super processed and those are in cookies and crackers and chips and baked goods. But there are other things we consume like caffeine, alcohol, dairy, and spicy foods that can actually trigger those as well. And this is especially true if we're talking about eating them at night. So if you are experiencing those symptoms and you do know that you're also eating those potentially triggering foods, a great idea would be to start reducing or removing them from your diet and see if that makes a difference. In order to make this easier, you could keep a food diary where you can kind of pay attention to what symptoms you have after having certain foods. And since you know the types of foods that are triggering, you don't have to track everything, just the foods that you know, these are the types of foods that cause me problems. And then the bonus of all of this is you're gonna sleep better, which means you're gonna have less mood swings, less hot flashes, less of all that junk that you have to deal with with menopause which is gonna make you more inclined to wanna to go work out and build that muscle. Number two is eat protein rich foods. Protein is extremely important when we're trying to build muscle because those amino acids are gonna to work to repair that muscle tissue that's broken down during exercise and then repair it so that we build more muscle. So that means that having the protein throughout the day is gonna help repair and maintain the muscle mass that we're losing because of our age. So proteins are found in beef and fish, eggs, legumes, protein powder, dairy, and a bunch of other sources. And the idea is to get a well-rounded amount of all those types of protein into your diet. And in addition to helping us maintain and build more muscle during menopause, having more protein also aids in weight loss as well, because you're gonna be more full because protein is the most filling type of food you can have. Number three is eating foods that are high in phytoestrogens. So phytonutrients are naturally occurring plant compounds that can actually mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. So they basically help balance hormones, which is pretty nice of them. Some foods that are high in phytoestrogens include soybeans and soy products, tempeh, tofu, flax seeds, sesame seeds, and beans. Studies have actually shown that diets high in soy are more associated with lower cholesterol levels, lower blood sugar, and reduced severity of hot flashes and night sweats for women going through menopause. Number four, exercise. So fitness becomes even more important as we age. And that's because in addition to losing muscle mass as we are getting older, we also tend to add more abdominal fat. Oh, the joys of womanhood, right? In fact, being overweight and having a BMI or body mass index of 30 or more makes you experience hot flashes more often. So that means regular exercise will help you reduce your overall weight, which will help you reduce the severity and frequency of those hot flashes. Exercise also helps reduce bone loss after menopause which is really big because it's gonna to help to reduce fractures and osteoporosis. So simple exercises like walking, low impact aerobics, and elliptical machines are gonna to help to significantly reduce the bone loss in your hips, legs, and lower spine. And that is gonna help reduce that overall mineral loss. And it's gonna keep you from getting injured. Plus exercise during and after menopause helps to reduce certain types of cancer, including colon, breast, and endometrial cancer. And unfortunately, that weight gain during menopause can lead to issues like heart disease and type two diabetes. 
So having that exercise incorporated into your routine is gonna help alleviate a lot of risk. And if you are going through menopause now, you know that there are some mood swings that occur because of those symptoms, and it's just one of those fun things that we deal with with menopause. But when we exercise, our body actually starts to release good neurotransmitters that make us feel happy, called endorphins, and that can help alleviate the symptoms of menopause and boost our mood. And because of that, exercise during menopause helps reduce depression and cognitive decline. So you're not only helping your body, you're also helping your mind. Number five, building muscle. Regular strength training can help reduce body fat, burn more calories, and strengthen your muscles. And that's strength training in any format, whatever you're comfortable with, whether it's body weight, cables, resistance bands, barbells, or dumbbells. So your goal would be to target different muscle groups and then to progressively add resistance. So after you could get 12 reps easily, you would increase the weight and then see if you can get 12 reps again. And that is called progressive overload. And as you add in that extra muscle, you're gonna look more tone and you're gonna have way more opportunities to send those flexing selfies to your family and show them just how awesome you look. If you'd like specific help on how to build muscle during and after menopause, check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching where I provide one-on-one -on -one help on nutrition and fitness recommendations and help you reach your goals. Click the link and buy today. And I'll see you in the next video.